Frequency Matters, the bi-weekly industry news update uh, presented by Microwave Journal. I'm editor David Vai. And technical editor Pat Hindle, and this is our RF and microwave industry update. Our December issue has uh, been printed and is just coming out. Uh, David, what do we got going in that issue? Well, the uh, cover features by uh, Abdullah Uroglu, who's a uh, professor at the Purdue University. He wrote about uh, RF technology as it's used in semiconductor processing. And I know, you know, both you and I uh, had our background working in a semiconductor, yep, uh, so we, we know how integrated circuits are fabricated, but I'm sure there's a lot of it, uh, engineers who use ICs but don't know how they're made, and it's, it's quite a complex, interesting process, and he talks about how RF technology is used by the plasma chamber. So it's pretty fascinating background on how ICs are fabricated and how RF technology is used to uh, process ICs. And I like the uh, medical article, so the theme is industrial scientific medical issue, and we have a very interesting article on medical. Never before you've been able to combine the radiation treatment with the MRI imaging because of the electromagnetic mm -hmm. interference. MRI is very sensitive to the um, radiation that's given off by the radiation treatment system. So this team of scientists were able to uh, model that using multi-physics by COMSOL and uh, come up with a combined system. So in a couple years, this system will be fielded and should be a big step forward in the treatment of cancer because they'll be able to image in real time and radiate so they'll be able to uh, do a better job of dosing and not damaging the surrounding area. Comsol is a company that uh, their U.S. headquarters is actually yeah, near us in, us in Boston. Yeah. I usually make an annual trip up to, to visit them and it's been impressive to see how much they've grown. Uh, I think it's an indication of the importance of multi-physics uh, in simulation. I know a lot of our readers are used to uh, use uh, 3D electromagnetic simulation to, to model the electrical behavior of their devices, but increasingly uh, the thermal effects are important and uh, the same technology that's used for EM simulation is used uh, in thermal analysis and then combining the two so people can understand uh, the influence of, of thermal effects on electrical behavior and vice versa. You know, right now we, we've had our, our uh, deadline for papers to the EDICON right. conference and we're going through uh, those papers submitted. We had a couple of papers uh, on electrothermal analysis as well as some heat sinking materials. So that's a theme that I think we'll see. Yeah, especially talk higher about. power devices, you know, with GAN absolutely. and everything is, absolutely. is definitely a trend. So look for that in, uh, in the magazine and in the conferences as well. So uh, news-wise, we had a, a couple of news. I know you and I were both on a conference call with Freescale. They're introducing uh, two new uh, LDMOS power transistors, right. um, targeting uh, their, their operation from 700 megahertz to 2700 megahertz. Yeah, very broadband in mm -hmm. one device. Mm -hmm. Targeting uh, LTE base station applications. And also uh, Richardson announced, uh, Richardson RPD announced that uh, uh, they were supporting two new products from Triquent to uh, hybrid uh, CATV amplifiers right, yeah. um, based on a push-pull casco design that allows very flat gain. Uh, they're offering 24 dB of gain uh, with very low uh, distortion. Yeah, so, and in the news I saw a report by ASD Reports on GPS, GNSS uh, location market, and they're predicting a uh, annual growth rate of about 5% for the next 10 years. So. So even though there's been austerity measures put in place, there's still pretty good growth in that area, especially for military applications. On the show front, uh, you know, December is definitely a quiet month, but uh, January it kicks up again, and we've got a couple shows in January, right. don't we? Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, Radio Wireless Week, which is, starts January 19th in Newport Beach. Pretty small exhibition, but, you know, a very good uh, high-quality conference there. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, later in the month, actually, is uh, DesignCon, which is up in the San Jose area, and that's a uh, signal integrity, high-speed design uh, conference, so I'll be heading out to that. What's uh, going on with EDICON? EDICON, like I mentioned, the uh, papers have been uh, submitted, and we're going through the review process, and authors are being notified as I speak. Uh, we had a number of great papers. Um, a lot of interest focus on spectrum management and radio monitoring. Um, you know, there's a lot of fight over, uh, over frequency use yeah. uh, for these um, communication systems. So we're seeing that, uh, some solutions to that, uh, cognitive radio, uh, software-defined radio at the system level, TD, LTE, and carrier aggregation, MIMO, all technologies that are supporting um, yeah. these communication systems. And also on the device side, we're seeing architectures such as uh, digital pre-distortion, envelope right. tracking, GAN, of course, a uh, lot, of, lot of interesting topics, semiconductor-wise and, and design-wise. Yeah, so, and registration just opened. So you can uh, go to the ediconchina.com website in English and register, or there's also a Chinese version. I encourage people to register early uh, and save 50% uh, on the registration. Off. 
And uh, we also had a number of uh, people uh, sign up for exhibiting. RFHIC has signed on as a gold sponsor. Uh, Militech, they make uh, millimeter wave point-to-point uh, -point hardware. Uh, they will be exhibiting. Uh, Pickering interfaces. So a number of, of yeah. new exhibitors to Conic, they make advanced materials. So we're probably about 75% sold yeah, it's out. Yeah, starting to fill out yeah, nicely. Yeah, yeah. so I, I think uh, we're going to have a great event. Great. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, contact mwjournal.com. That's editor at mwjournal.com. We'll see you in the uh, new year. Frequency matters. Thank you.